What's going on? It's Willie Jim's House, and I'm back with another video for you guys. So, uh, in this video, I kind of wanted to touch base on some stoof that's been going on in the community lately. Now, uh, what I will say is I'm not going to go and, and talk about people's names because I'm sure the people who have been uh, going through some of this stuff probably don't want it mentioned anymore and probably want to stay away from it. So, I'm just going to talk about uh, the, the topic as a whole. Now, uh, two specific things RWT which is a real-world trading if you guys know what that is it's basically uh, when you pretty much like sell items and stuff like on your runescape account or I I'm sure it works with other games as well but if we're talking about runescape you pretty much sell your stuff on runescape for in real life money or you know vice versa you you purchase uh you know in-game items and money with real life money so it works both ways basically it's it's against the the rules of the game uh and another topic which is a bug abuse now i guess i'll talk about rwt quickly because it's kind of the the less of my uh worries not as in like i don't care about it but as far as how much i'm going to talk about it um now if you're going to go ahead and do rwt uh and i can stand here and say honestly 100 i've never done anything rwt i uh, you know I, I know a lot of you guys are gonna troll and be like yeah but dude you played rs3 and like you micro transaction you buy keys listen those are fun all right i get cool costumes and bonus experience don't talk bad about it, okay? Um, I've never, I've never done any of that stuff. Never been into it. Never saw the point in it. You know, if I'm gonna make money, I enjoy making money on the game, so I'm gonna do that. And I'm not gonna sell my stuff on the game for IRL money because one, I have an income, and two, I, I want my stuff on my RuneScape account because I want to play RuneScape because I, I've been a nerd for all these years. I want to keep on playing. Uh, so if you are going to do something like that, you got to realize that there's a huge risk of you, you know, getting in trouble. Now, I know you might think, oh, Jagex doesn't really care. They're not really paying attention. Well, obviously they are. Uh, if you guys haven't realized this, Jagex usually does a thing where they go ahead in like waves. Uh, you know, they'll, they'll let things go for a while and then there's like a month that they'll just go in and like destroy everybody. Uh, uh, and that's just how it's been for a while. I know they did like the the bot buster thing back in like November, like two or three years ago or something. And ever since then, it's pretty much been a, a thing. So, you know, obviously you got to be careful. I'm sure they monitor people who have like the the fake account, not fake accounts, but like the accounts that are named like something like that and and all of a sudden they're trading you 50 mil to your account or you know you just gotta you gotta be really careful with that stuff now i'm not saying you're stupid for doing it but you're kind of stupid for doing it and you you just really gotta know uh you know that's just gonna happen you know this is gonna it's like you standing in in the highway and you expect not to get hit by a car well I mean, you, you're putting yourself in that position. You got to expect something to happen. So now I'm not saying I'm happy for the users who got banned or whatever it was. I'm not saying that I don't want anybody to lose their account. I want everybody to be able to play. But I'm just saying for maybe next time or people who are thinking about doing it, please just stay away from it. Uh, now, the next thing, bug abuse. Uh, I didn't realize I was going to talk about RWT for that long. Bug abuse. Now, here's where here's where it's like a little different. OK, now, uh, like I said, I'm not going to say people's usernames. But basically, uh, there's a situation where you are able to, uh, like, AFK, so say, safe spot something, okay? Um, now, safe spotting things in RuneScape have been around forever. You can go to the cow pen in Lumbridge, and you can close the gate, and you can safe spot something. And when you're a low level, you know, you're able to gain a lot of experience without having to be in danger of getting hurt and having to eat food and constantly bank. You could just keep on training and training because you're not getting hurt by anything. Uh, same thing with like, you know, the, the lesser demon in Lump. Well, now it's in uh, the Wizard's Tower, but, uh, you know, in, in the Wizard's Tower, uh, you know, it's blocked off it's inside a gate you don't have to worry about it you know there's plenty of things that you can save spot and there's plenty of safe spots people have found but why is it an issue when somebody's profiting a lot now you could be like okay but will like they're bringing in a lot of items into the game it's going to crash the market because it, there wasn't it wasn't meant for you to be able to do this right i understand but in, in the same breath 
was it ever actually a thing for people to find out safe spots and and these safe methods that's what people do we as as people and as humans we're inclined to try you know the the whole saying of work smarter not harder if we can find a way to achieve the same thing at the same rate if not more by being smarter in doing less work than the somebody who's doing it the hard way you know, most people are going to do that. So if you find that, or if you just so happen to find a safe spot or a safe method for something, you can't really fault the player for doing that. It's It was in the game, you know? It's not like somebody, you know, hacked into the game and, and made it that way. It was in the game. It's something that you're able to do. So when people get in trouble for that, I kind of feel for them a little bit more because right they were you know quote unquote abusing a bug but it wouldn't be abused if it just wasn't in there you know you guys know what i'm saying it's just not very fair because you know for somebody who might not have any knowledge of it at all and they kind of stumble upon it they're like oh damn like okay i guess this is working you know i'm i'm afk i'm safe spotting this like this is cool this is awesome like you know i don't know if it should be like this but i'm doing it i'm getting a lot more kills i'm making money you're happy in the moment and you're doing it because you know you really didn't do anything other than just so happen you stumbled upon a, a, a safe spot at a boss or a safe spot killing monsters you know you're not i don't really know how to word it other than i don't really think you should be at fault for that now if there was like an update or or something and it was known and it was like hey like this is under maintenance we can't stop you from doing it right now but we're warning you at least then i understand like okay man you were warned it was spoken of it was said to not touch that then i understand but if it's not you can't really fault the player for that because they didn't they didn't really know you know they were just kind of doing their thing and they just so happened to find it uh and and continue with it so that's just kind of my my ideas on it you guys can share it in the comment section below i feel like this video might be getting a little bit of like you know more dislikes than the other because you know not everybody's gonna have the same opinion as me it's the same thing with like politics and religion and stuff so uh i understand if you guys may disagree with me try not to you know go crazy on the video you can leave constructive criticism and i'll reply to stuff but that's just kind of my thoughts let me know what you guys think and i will see you guys in the next video peace